I wanted to answer kind of like two questions in one because they both had to do with the same topic, which is insurance. I'm going to be talking about getting insurance in PA school. Um, like, do you have to get it? Uh, what kind of insurance do you have to get? And then another question that I'm going to be answering is, do you get your own liability insurance as a physician assistant? So let's get into the question right now. Oh, doing my dance. Hey, I'm doing my dance. What's up you guys? So if you haven't already done so, go ahead, look around, subscribe, like my video, cause I know you're gonna like it. But I wanted to get into this question. Um, so the first question is from T Goodman 2076. It says, do you get your own liability insurance as a PA? And the answer is yes. I mean, you have to cover yourself. You're not under the physician as most people would think because you know, you are a physician assistant, you're not covered by their insurance. So whether you're getting your own, you know, in terms of, of, like you're paying out of pocket like for yourself you're buying your own insurance or the company or hospital that you're working with is providing you with liability insurance it is your own insurance you are a practitioner you are a provider and so therefore you're gonna need your own insurance because you're gonna be making decisions that are gonna be affecting the patients that you're dealing with and so if something was done and it was wrong on your part you know, you can be sued. And so therefore, you're gonna need your own insurance to cover your behind. Um, so there are options out there. There are quite a few options. I know that APA, when I went to the conference like a few years back, they had um, kind of like a company that they were working with. And so when you went with that company as a new grad, like you only paid, I think it was like $300 or something like that. Like it was for the year. Like it was really, really like obscenely cheap. Okay, because your liability insurance is not necessarily like the most cheap thing once you're like really practicing. Um, but it was like obscenely cheap and I wanted to go with that option, but I luckily got a position that paid for my insurance for me. So I get insurance through my job um, and it does have like a tail. So let's say I were to ever leave my job, um, you know, the tail insurance covers you for anything that happens like, you know, kind of like if somebody wants to sue you, because I believe you can be sued like up to two or three years after you've like, they have up to two years to kind of like bring the case. So you, if you leave like in 2020, like not until 2023, like are you really like out of the woods for being sued for something, um, for patients that you kind of like worked on? So that is something that you just kind of have to keep in mind, making sure that you do have a tail, um, what the tail covers on the liability insurance that you do get. So the next question was from another person and it, I will put it up on the screen um, as well. It's from Mitchy. It says possible video topic. Thanks Mitchy. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and leave that comment in the comment section below so I can answer your comment and make it a video topic. But it says, what are the options when in PA school for health insurance? I'm assuming this is required for all PA schools. What do a lot slash most people do for this? I'll be hopefully applying to PA school in two years and this is something that I was wondering about and seeing if I'll need to save up money for this. So yeah, so there are, I mean, there are many options for PA school insurance, right? I'm, as long as you have insurance. So you can go through the local state that you're gonna be in, like their healthcare.gov or, you know, whatever their particular state, um, their insurance site is, you can go there and then look and see what they offer, um, you know, like through Obamacare uh, or through like the state insurance. Cause then that way you'll be able to get something that is inexpensive for you that will actually be um, kind of tailored to what you're gonna be making as a PA student, which is nada. <laughs> so um, you're gonna need to have something that you can actually afford. Um, what did most students do? So a lot of like the students, like we had a wide range of students when I was in PA school. And I mean, I'm sure you're gonna have a wide range of students as well, like from various different areas in life, you know, seasoned, like a more mature students. And then those that are kind of just coming straight out of undergrad or, you know, taking one or two gap years. So early to mid twenties. 
So with that being said, a lot of them are still able to be under their parents' insurance um, up until 26. So a lot of them just use their the insurance provided by their parents. So that was fine and substantial enough for PA school as long as you had insurance. Um, I knew some people that had to do Medicaid because you know they weren't going to be making anything. They were um, kind of on their own and really weren't bringing in any money to kind of show like. Oh, I'm able to pay for my own insurance so they were eligible for Medicaid so that is also an option obviously like with now like all of this like pandemic stuff and how that's how that's been you know with respect to particular states and like Medicaid and you know all those different benefits that they offered to their residents maybe some of that might have changed and so it's just important to make sure that while you're applying for these things you know the various different new rules or regulations that are in place because of this pandemic, but I still think that people will be able to get Medicaid and apply for Medicaid. Um, and some people just paid out of pocket, like straight up out of pocket. You just went and you kind of went insurance shopping and did that. It is required for you to have insurance in PA school. I mean, I'm guessing, you know, if you get sick or something like you need insurance, um, but that is one of the requirements that you had to show that you had proof of insurance. So definitely if you don't have like a parent that you're, you're still under because you're within that 26 year old bracket, or if you're not really eligible for Medicaid or anything like that, you're definitely going to need to save up for this because this is just an additional expense. Now, when you um, get your loan, because a lot of people do get loans for PA school, another option is just kind of putting that money aside every, you know, for the month, um, or even for the year, you can pay your insurance up for the year um, with whatever loan money um, that refund check that you get from the school. So those are your options for your school insurance. And that is the question answered for, do you get your own liability insurance? If you guys have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA, and I will talk to you guys next time. 